president is considered high risk for coronavirus, but experts say age alone isn't enough to predict exactly how sick he may become. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live in Sacramento with what the science says, Marissa, but also reaction from those just now hearing about the president's condition. Yeah, neighbors here around the Capitol tonight saying the president's hearing about the president's shocking news, saying they're surprised to hear about his diagnosis. The White House tonight saying the president's symptoms are mild, a mere 15 hours after he first revealed that diagnosis. Others tonight, though, saying they're not surprised to hear he contracted coronavirus. He's 74. He's certified obese. And um, he's going, he's not wearing his mask at these rallies. Well, I don't know if he really wants to listen to the qualified people as far as what to do. And I really hope that they'll be all right, you know. I mean, a lot of people are making it out of this. And I think he's going to come through just fine. He's Donald Trump. Come on, you know. He's got an election to win. Yeah, others sending well wishes his way tonight. So how high of a risk is the president at right now? Medical experts say age alone, again, won't determine how the president will do, saying it's not the number that matters. They tell us men have a higher health risk of getting sicker than women. And while age is a factor, comorbidities like the president's weight are more of a concern. Now, a study out in July says otherwise healthy 70 to 79-year-olds have a 4.6% risk of dying from COVID-19, regardless of gender. Once again, the president is 74 years old. One medical researcher with UCLA we spoke with tells us because the president is active, research shows he's likely to fight the disease better than those who are frail.